Welcome all. So today's topic is create a Linux, Linux environment within Windows 10 without a virtual machine. So what this is all about? Now, it is actually known as Windows subsystem for Linux and which is also known as a bash on Ubuntu for Windows, which makes it very easy to get your feet wet with Linux and Windows 10 without having to set up virtual machines or installing any software to get Linux up and running. So what is WSL? WSL is a built-in feature of Windows 10 anniversary update a letter and that's always available by simply typing bash into the start menu. So let's get going. So what we'll do now is to get you through, walk you through the steps to create this Linux environment and Later on, we'll be using this to create our good old ASP.NET Core applications. So that sounds great, isn't it? So we start by typing um, on this um, search bar. We'll let's bring command prompt, and on the command prompt, we'll see the Windows version. So first of all, the Windows version has to be seen. Now this is you can see the build. Windows version is 19.09 and the operating system build is 18363. So that should be, this should be uh, greater than 16215 or that is the Windows Anniversary Edition. All right. So my um, machine, my laptop qualifies on first count for this WSL. All right. Next thing that you need to do is to look for this control panels. And we have to turn a Windows feature on. So how do we do that? We go to the programs and features and turn Windows feature on and off. And when it loads, you'll have to um, look for this checkbox, Windows subsystem for Linux, and then click on OK. And it takes some time searching for the required files. All right. And it applying it is applying the changes and after that it will ask me to restart. So I will have to restart now. Microsoft Store, Microsoft Store, okay. Right, so this window opens and then top apps featured and then I'll have to search search for Ubuntu. Let me search for Ubuntu distribution. So Ubuntu. Now there are a lot of, you know, Ubuntu distributions are there and this is the latest one. So let's, this is all free of cost. So this, let me get this one and install this, install it. Okay. So to override your preference, pick a system drive not a C drive, so I'll have to, I can install it on my C drive. Okay, so let me install it. It's now downloading. So I'll come back after downloading it. Now you can see that it is still downloading and download complete. Now. When I hit launch button, it comes with this um, text installing. This may take a few minutes. Okay, so let's come back after a few minutes whenever this installation is over. And you can see in the meantime that it Ubuntu 20.04 on Windows allows you to use Ubuntu terminal and run Ubuntu command line utilities using bash, SSH, etc, etc. So we'll come back again. Now it's asking me to enter a new Unix username and a password. Okay, please enter username matching the regular expression configured via the name force balance. Okay, a new Unix username. It didn't, let me try some other name which I use and a password. And then retype the password. 
Okay, password updated successfully. Right, so you've got this bash cell. Great. So you're successful in um, entering the Linux command shell utility without installing any virtual machine or anything. So now if you close this, if you want to relaunch, all you need to do is just to launch either write bash over here and that will open the git bash. So basically all you need to know is to load the windows command prompt and write the word bash. So this will open the bash command. So in this tutorial, we'll, we have seen that there are a few uh, criteria that need to be satisfied and we have filled those criteria and then we have created a command utility to use Linux subsystem from Windows 10 operating system very easily. Okay, and we can exit this window and just close this window and that is it and that is the end of today's tutorial